do love the sweet potatoes too. Yeah, I do too. Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, Tracy's here yes. with the first alert forecast. How's it going? Hey, well, you know what? Uh, today's going to be a pretty nice day. So we woke up and it was cold outside. And for the afternoon, another day with mild temperatures. Yesterday we hit 70 degrees. That was downtown Sacramento. Take a look out towards Sacramento right now. I mean, she is just showing out. Look at that, the Tower Bridge. Nice boat going underneath the Tower Bridge out on the river there. Uh, we got the boat there on the left hand side. Uh, a little hazy sunshine though. And you can see the fall foliage. It is a beautiful day, right? So we're right toward the middle of November. We got a big holiday week coming in next week. Big changes could be coming in as well. Let's take a look at the Almanac. Normal daytime high 65. Normal morning low is 45. Today, 68. So just a little above the mark and this morning, like several mornings, we've been in the 30s, so we're definitely cold to start. But by the time we get up to the afternoon, we more than make up for it. Now I'll take a look at the forecast at afternoon highs a day. So I got the lower 40s for Truckee and for South Lake Tahoe. I got 60 coming in for Auburn, 63 in Jackson. And then we get to the Valley floor, just a little bit warmer. Mid to upper 60s coming in through Oak Grove, 68 in Sacramento, 67 in Marysville. Let's get on back to the coastline, 67 today in San Francisco, which is nice, 70 in Santa Rosa and 70 degrees in Ukiah. Satellite and radar high pressure system has just been entrenched, persistent, stubborn. I'm giving it all these human qualities. It does not want to move. And because it is insistent on staying there, the weather associated with it is insistent as well. That's clear start to the day. That's cold morning lows, but plenty of sunshine for the afternoon. Now we all know that's nice, but we could use a little rain as well as some snowfall. We're already below average for precipitation for our water year. So mild temperatures are on tap again for today, and we have a system, a storm system just out to the west of us. And it is going to start to make its way a little bit closer, but it's going to take some time. So we're clearing right now. We got clouds just out to the left of us. This is our low pressure system. High pressure system is sunshine. Low pressure, low pressure systems typically bring storms. This is our omega block, right? You got a high pressure system sandwiched in between two low pressure systems and it can't really go anywhere, right? A little bit of a traffic jam. Well, that's going to change. And here is when we're expecting it to change. We have this huge high pressure system illustrated here by the yellow and the orange. But as we continue to move, look at that. You see the jet stream. You see those arrows starting to move too. That means it de-amplifies. That means it flattens. That means it's not as strong as it once was. And that will allow the opportunity for storms out to the west to finally make a few inroads. So this is based on our GFS model. By Sunday morning, look at this. This is a weather disturbance. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Look at Monday, Tuesday, another weather disturbance. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> we need some, we need some oomph, right? We need rain, we need snow, and it looks like it could be coming in just in time for the holiday week. Now, there's a few caveats there. If you are traveling and driving, please make sure you know the weather. It is forecasted to change next week as we become more active. In the meantime, I like it. Plenty of sunshine. Temperatures uh, rather seasonal, cold to start. Uh, but next week, John, looks like we could be looking at a more active weather pattern. Mm.